What? What, Pat? You're barely in it. People like that. No. I'm really sick. <laughs> what do you have? Oh, shit. Okay. Are we recording? He has AIDS. Adult intelligence deficient syndrome. We're going. Is the audio recording? Yes. Speak louder. I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm so sick. I have feline leukemia. We're in a hospital room. It looks like a hotel room because it's a nice hospital. <laughs> Hospice. But say, say, well, that's... That's what the doctor says is the next step, is hospice care. Make Sam as comfortable as possible. We're going to read him Hatchet. He's a Paulson head. Dirty work. The screenplay, not the, <laughs> not the book. The library didn't have dirty work on VHS, so <laughs> we had to get the screenplay. <laughs> Saigon whore bit my nose off. Is that Artie Lang? No, that's Chris Farley. I've never seen so many dead hookers. Lord knows I have. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're just playing Dirty Work nonstop 24-7 because I don't want to die without Dirty Work on. So. It makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. A little help. It's palliative care. I've been chewing up mushrooms and baby birding them into his mouth. Well, I'm mama birding them into his baby bird mouth. Yeah, but you just should give me the chewed food. You don't have to swallow them and then vomit them into my mouth. You are supposed to do that with mushrooms. No, no like, you're so not. That we can each get a little bit of a blast off. Oh, yeah, you actually... You're like the simpleton that the Vikings used. Do you know about this? No. They would use Amanitas mushrooms, which are the ones that look like Santa Claus. Like the and Mario would, ones, right? Yeah, the Mario. Berserker mushrooms. And they would have like a... Uh, you know, like a real Corky Romano type in the village, you know, a man. You guys want some mushies? Yeah, he like lived on a bale of hay and he <laughs> ate his bed. And they would have him eat the mushrooms and then he would piss into their beer. And then that would like filter it so that they would not get the truly loco en la cabeza. And then they would just get like the, the parts that enhance their senses, their sight, their sound. They're Damn. hearing, I and then they would go and, and like raise and sack a village. Huge. Yeah, Pat, you would have been that. You would have been that uh, piss filtering simpleton. That's your <laughs> role in our operation. <laughs> we give I mean, you a bunch. I, mean, I, I that's fine with me. Then I don't have to drink piss. Do you no, think Pat, why are you why are you yeah. doing little girl voice? <laughs> you are making me be on the pod, and I have to use this little law of mine. We're, We're making you. You're yeah, getting you're a huge it. opportunity. I'm fresh off the Adam Friedland show. I'm sure all these newcomers are going to be really good to you and love the sound of your voice. No, I sound <laughs> like a little girl. I sound like a little girl. At least you're not dying. Nut up. <laughs> At least you're not dying. <laughs> yeah. So far, they've amputated what? Um, arms, legs. Right ear. Mm -hmm. All arms. the comments are going to say is, wow, I'm glad that Sam could sit up for the video. It's just his nose in the shot. They like when he lays down. They want us comfortable. Also, less Sam, it means more Lund, which is what the people really want. <laughs> I fell out of this chair 45 seconds ago. Yeah, and we weren't filming. No. <laughs> I already forgot about that. That was awesome. Yeah. That brought me back. I was actually in the River Styx. <laughs> that gave you a couple more minutes on this plane. I had one coin on my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and you told, what's his name? Carn... Carnifage. The guy that... Maximum Carnage? Rose the boat. I think Carnage rode the boat. <laughs> it wasn't Venom. It was Carnage. No, yeah. Yeah. People think it was Venom. Mm -hmm. Uh... His name is like Chiron or something. I think it's Cordochrome. <laughs> that sounds Don't like take a my Cordochrome. Don't take my Cordochrome away. Isn't it James Wood? Yes, from Falling Down. No, that was Michael Douglas. <laughs> anyway, uh, the nurse should be here any second to give you more uh, morphine. Fiend. I told them to take my penis because I wanted them to uh, dip it in amber and then sew it into my mouth. <laughs> I wanted them to put my penis dipped in amber in my mouth and sew my lips shut so that when I got up to heaven, I had something to, sh to tell God. And it's... <laughs> I'll sit up for that. My dick's on my tongue. Hello, God. 
<laughs> Thanks, you can have your present back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for this gift. <laughs> Joke gift. <laughs> a gag <laughs> gift, except nobody could gag on it. I've gagged a lot of people. That'd be sick. Because it reeked, not because it was sick. Shut big. up, I'm dying. That's why. Well, There's one let's... time to be oh, nice yeah, we're to me. <laughs> we have to lie to you because you're dying <laughs> yeah. any second. Uh-huh. Can you just tell us when you can see your mom? Okay. When Betsy shows up and is like guiding you in mm-hmm. like an air traffic controller, <laughs> yeah. then uh, we know it's time to be nice. My mom has to work on the runway in heaven. <laughs> that sucks. Everybody She's working her way up. Yeah. <laughs> She's in uh, angel traffic control. <laughs> in that joke I've been doing about abortions, I say, I, you know, I don't know what denomination in church it was, but I think they all agree on one thing. No more baby angels. <laughs> it's not getting a big laugh. Mm. Yeah, but hey, if only they knew I was dying, they'd feel pretty bad. <laughs> they'd feel terrible. The best laughs are sympathy laughs. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> I should just go up there tonight and be like, look, everyone, I gotta tell you guys, I am really sick. So if you want to juice it tonight, that'd be huge. <laughs> Let me go out with a bang. Let me go out with a bang. And hey, chicks, if you want to throw your bras on stage, please. And we can't get mad because I'm gone. You know, I bet I could tell the difference in smells between an areola and a nipple. If you could isolate the two and separate them. <laughs> what the fuck? You feel like what they the often... fuck said the girl on the bed? <laughs> <laughs> they smell like two different... You smell two different scents often when 100%, you're... 100%. 100%. No way. Yeah. That's how good I am. I like the idea of you getting yanked up the stairs in a hospital bed, like <laughs> onto the stage. It's mm-hmm. just complete, so awkward, and you're violently like getting hit, you know, hitting each step. The orderlies, you know, all white, just <laughs> <laughs> you're just getting rocked. Yeah, and I'm full <laughs> nugget. I don't have any arms or legs. Yeah, Unless you they'd fall bring off, me up there in a big wicker basket. Fall off the. <laughs> You know what would be fun to do would be to do a show at like the Wisconsin Dells like with everyone standing in the middle and then there's a lazy river going around it and then my quadruple amputee body is just put into a basket and I float around doing crowd work. (laughs) (laughs) Now that's a show, dude. (laughs) It's a destination show. Little baby Moses in the river. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be fucking sick. (laughs) Oh, around the bend over here. What is this? The Uggo corner? I don't have any arms. <laughs> people are just pushing you away. Yeah. People splash me. <laughs> Stop splashing. Read the signs. <laughs> Why did I buy the signs if no one's going to read them? Don't splash the wall. <laughs> There's one rule don't <laughs> splash the nug. <laughs> I'm, I'm going by the nug. <laughs> Real nugs, no. Waterworld added a nug guy <laughs> yeah. to the lazy river. Mm-hmm. The lazy river was getting a little too lazy to sort of wake everyone up. They got a flotation nub. A roast master. Sam the human buoy talent <laughs> is bobbing around the West Bend. Look, I'm a turtle Man. today. You dress up like a turtle. Flip me over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got snacks in my shell. <laughs> I would go to that show. Yeah, you'd be featuring. You'd be the basket. I would be on a an inner tube that looked like Homer's Donut. No. If it was my, like, I'm dying show, oh. you would be in... Tiny boat sailor outfit. No, that's good, too. But I'm thinking, you know, that, like, surfing wave thing they have set up where you can, like, surf it? Oh, yeah, I'm really bad You'd have it. to do 25 <laughs> minutes <laughs> on the wave. I think, I think they had that at Wet n' Wild in Las Vegas, and I was bad at it. Yeah, just you wiping out over and over again. <laughs> Wipe out. Like, I'm already in heaven. <laughs> Pissing into my mouth. <laughs> You're pissing, pissing his, into p- your own mouth. Yes, Sam's dying, so I agreed to uh, do all his favorite you, bits. You can piss in my mouth while I'm trying to surf for five bucks. No, you can't fill up a jug and whip it at me. You have to pee from your dick into my face. If you get it in my mouth, you get a prize. Yeah, step have right you, up. T- have you heard about the turd? Everybody knows that the turd is the word. <laughs> No turds. No. I know he's dying. I said no turds. I mean it. I have to dance every time. Kill me. I want to join him. There's not room in the basket. This is worse than hell. 
fulfilling these Pat, what are you doing? Wishes. You're rummaging around, I see. Just looking for my vape. Oh, yeah, been there. Just looking for my vape. You know what got me in this position, Pat? What? Looking for my vape. <laughs> Is that why you're dying? He got hit by a bus when he was looking for his vape. <laughs> oh, I'll miss this, guys. <laughs> Uh, Emmy's flying in. Hopefully she'll make it in time. Yeah, she had to pick up her boyfriend. To say goodbye. <laughs> She's moved on. It's, yeah. it's all right. It's yeah. good. It's I didn't know fair. it was going to be Paul Dano. <laughs> the actor? She's dating the actor Paul Dano. Okay, I did see them hanging out once. What? And I, yeah, well, I'm just saying. I had no idea, but I saw them somewhere. Denver, I think. After, you know, a bar, and I was like, I didn't think it was either of them, you know? Shit. I thought it was two people that looked like Emily and Paul Dano. Yeah. I watched but... Little Miss Sunshine with Emmy, and she was really, she kept pausing it on <laughs> And he's like 13 in that movie. She was like, wow, a guy who doesn't talk. That's the opposite of what I have. And An inanimate got... object that won't shut yeah. up. <laughs> I've got Andy's... a human paperweight who won't fucking stop blabbering. Why are they going to cut out his tongue when they took his arms and legs? <laughs> now, Pat, you're talking really far away from your little nub. Is that normal? Yeah, well, it's a different style of mic. Oh. And it's, uh, when I put it here, it's really loud. So I should be, should I be further from this thing? I asked you guys to arrange the mic. No, for because me, you I have had to a mic. around like a silkworm. <laughs> Why are you acting like you've never used a mic like that before? I went full <laughs> cocoon on this thing. <laughs> you know what would really piss me off if I died and then I'm like watching Emmy 24-7 from heaven? And she starts dating that guy from I Think You Should Leave who's in the play. So I auditioned for a play <laughs> and I got the role because that guy looks like Pat. Yeah. If she left me for not Pat but a guy who looks like Pat, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? God, put me down there in one of those Chinese babies. I want the reincarnation reincarnation route. And then I would just wait until I was like 15, and I'd hop a freighter to America, and I'd kill them both. That that would be cool. Yeah, that'd be great. That's my revenge arc. I'd watch that. <laughs> Pat, we told you you had to be on the pod so you could carry the weight. Yeah. Carry my weight. What do you say you were? 354? If I had to guess, <laughs> 372. <laughs> Wipe out! <laughs> yeah, wide out. Wide gout. <laughs> uh, wide world is about my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down in weight. You're going up. It's Man, fun. We went and had so much crap yesterday. I couldn't <laughs> have a little. I had to lick the fucking paper that was on the table. Mm hmm. And they was like, don't eat the lungs, don't eat the intestines. And I was like, what? Yeah, you <laughs> look up, I, you're covered in lungs. I already had. <laughs> yeah. I started with the lungs. What about the crispy outer bark? <laughs> you mean the shell? <laughs> oh. What about this uh, salmon skin that they have on outside of the delicious crab meat? Mm, the crab bark's so good. The crab bark. <laughs> I the peeled, crab bark. Yeah, I peeled the bark. The yeah. crab bark. <laughs> Crab bark crab stuck bark. in my teeth. <laughs> Let the purines enter your heart. <laughs> the uric acid starts to spurt around. <laughs> it go down into your toes. Your toes. It goes a bang, bang, bang. Now you can't walk around. <laughs> You're too fat to be alive. <laughs> can't go outside. <laughs> crab bark. You're eating the paper on the table. Yeah. Oh yeah, I munched the paper like I was Sam in the bathroom. Shut up! I'm dying. <laughs> what? You munched it? You munched I'm paper. I'm dying. Maybe. Ow! Ow! My nub. Thank you. Oh, is it hot or cold? God, it's, it's cold, which is worse. Oh no! That means the fever wasn't able to do anything, and now everything's just shutting down. <laughs> yeah. Your brain is turning the lights out in each room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saying like, bye to each the, room. The soul, yeah, the soul is moving yeah. out of the house. So uh -huh. it's like, all right, goodbye, left arm. We had some good times when your right arm was sore <laughs> and you were still horny. Cleaning the baseboards. I actually use my, I use my left arm for that. Do you? Switch hitter. I jack with my right, and it's one of the only things that I do right-handed. Wipe and jack. See? We complete each other. I do that, too. I'm right-handed. I jack left. Yeah, but you don't what wipe. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on with that? I don't know. I don't know. Huh. And then when you go right-handed, it's kind of fun. Because it's like, oh, I'm cheating. 
Who's this guy? Yeah, what are you doing Who's here? Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's must, this guy must, jacking me off? You must be the new guy. <laughs> yeah. When I'm jacking off, I just pretend it's a different guy jacking me off. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Guys, I'm, crime. not only am I dying, I'm also exhausted. Because I had yeah. a big week in New York doing every podcast ever. Yeah, you did fill him up with uh, Phil Margera. Uh huh. You did yeah. uh, R.I.P. Uncle Vito with with Ape. Ape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> you did a lot of jackass adjacent. You did Brandon DiCamillo. That's what, that's what I was gonna <laughs> say next. You're gonna drop mm-hmm. in. You're. You did Rob himself himself. Yeah. I did Rob Ryan's, himself and the boys. Ryan's done. Oh. <laughs> it's you an could, in memoriam. You pod. could hang out with Ryan. Ryan who? Yeah. In heaven. He's not in heaven. You guys are both going to the same place. I'll you tell think you so? That. If you He's don't think that's pur- heaven. He's in purgatory. I'm in purgatory? <laughs> what is he, Homer? <laughs> I'm in purgatory? Merge. Do, do you want some coffee? Merge. Can I have some coffee, Merge? Me too. Homer, you're dying. Homie. Me too, me too, me too. No, that's for me. That's how I got sick. Straw's going to be so wet now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's oh. good. Fucking zins are everywhere. Shut. You just spit them out oh, wherever they lay. And you're sick. You're Shut dying. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Don't touch me, bitch. Don't, Don't touch, touch me, me, bitch. <laughs> you're going to meet that kid. He's probably dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's they probably, killed him. They stoned him. He's probably somewhere. They put him in a burlap back with a bunch of kittens and threw him in the river. Going viral is a is a carnal sin and... Oh, Don't touch Quit me, God. Quit watching the Indian kid. <laughs> Don't touch me, God. <laughs> Don't touch me, bitch. <laughs> uh, Homer, I'm homie. wet. Homie. Any regrets? Yeah. I didn't finish Ozark. <laughs> you should be glad. Where did you stop? Because it kind of got worse and worse. How many seasons were there? Four? Yeah, I f- stopped after episode two. Season one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good call. Oh, really? The first four or five are really good. And then okay. it's just like, they're just treading water. Like, you can't. <laughs> okay. I feel better then. I didn't beat Guitar Hero. Damn, I wish You we... never did, like, great on a song? I or... never I never played it. <laughs> Someone sent me... Someone's... I played Ukulele Hero. <laughs> That's fun. You and Daniel ate the sandwich. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's just Breda is and Daniel ate the sandwich. <laughs> so many regrets. I've never had pepperoni. <laughs> Every time you guys saw me eating a pepperoni slice, I never put the pepperoni in my mouth. I just ate the cheese. Not even the dough. Were you nervous? Oh, yeah. Super nervous. It's just like salted cured meat. It's good. But it's like crispy? Yeah. Does it taste red? A little bit. A little red, yeah, a little like blood. Okay. But in a good way. Like you, you don't you don't hate it. Mm-hmm. It's salty, it's it's deli- it's a little spicy, a see little it? red. Or Pat's probably got one in his beard. Let me see if we <laughs> an olive, <laughs> banana pepper. I never did a sick switch backside fifty fifty on a snowboard. You uh, ride I, goofy? I you I ride did. goofy? I ride goofy, yeah. I did. It's pretty cool. You know, I'd rather ride Mini Mouse. <laughs> Set up for that one. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> he used the last of his energy to make a joke about fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Minnie. To ham it up for him. You can go to heaven and fuck Minnie Me. <laughs> what if oh, my mom's up there man. fucking burn? <laughs> That'd be fucked. <laughs> She's just reverse giving birth with Vern Troyer. They're trapped in wheel the wheelchair part of heaven together. No, Mer, Vern Troyer's in my ass. Vern's <laughs> Vern's going down on her. She's blowing Scott Hall. Yeah. <laughs> you, Yuck. You, I'm too sick for this. You can't take it. I, that, that one was like, what? <laughs> my mom blowing Razor Ramon? That sucks. <laughs> Merge. <laughs> Merge. Sam's mom is blowing Razor Ramon. How long? I know. How long would in heaven would it take you before you started fucking dudes? Well, it's heaven, right? So day one. <laughs> <laughs> no more wearing this mask. Right. You'd get bored. You'd have to start experimenting. 
There's no uh, my my heaven. There's no straight or gay. You just do whatever it's you asexual. want. Asexual. It's all yeah. There's no fucking at all. <laughs> You're just playing Yahtzee, watching Ozark. Mm. <laughs> I will say uh, there is a, a particular episode towards the end of Ozark that rules, but That's everything good. around it kind of is just annoying, and you kind of just. I just wanted it to be over. Don't you just? It started so hot. Remember how good it was the first the first season, first oh, yeah. two episodes. Oh yeah. Don't you agree? First season rule. I mean, the credits are season, fucking awesome. It's just like watch rewatch Breaking Bad, though. You know, it's just yeah, kind of like but, Breaking Bad. Yeah, but <laughs> but people in, hated Skyler kind of unfairly in that. I think people fairly hate uh, Laura Linney's character in Ozark. She becomes pretty fucking insufferable, and uh, yeah, you just kind of wanted to. But uh, there is there is one episode where. Uh, what's her nuts? I don't know fuck about shit. What's her name? Rose or uh, yeah, the one that looks like every girl, girl from Elizabeth, Colorado. She gets uh, she she has a real cool kind of arc and uh, isn't she like a bad a bitch who takes no gruff? Yeah, she gets pissed off and she gets fucking even. She gets mad and gets even. Laura Linney in that show is like from what I've read online. I read the hot sheets about Ozark. Um, <laughs> I heard that. She's like it's like like Skyler. First of all, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh no! What happened? It could have been so much worse. Did you, did you step you on his neck? No, it was kneecap. Need a oh. knee, dude. Need a knee, but it just kind of knee violence. Yeah, I'm okay. My remember bad. Skyler? And I think Skyler, if I remember correctly, she like gets a woman's body on like season two. <laughs> she goes from like skinny mean bitch to like full figured. I want him. Hmm. Anyway, I and then Prager. I think she was pra- Yeah, she's Prago. That's what it is. That's what she blossomed for me. But Skyler's whole thing in that show is like, oh my god, you're such a jerk. You're making all this money and risking it all to save our family because you're dying. And he's like, yeah. And I think that Laura Linney is the same way in that other show where she's like, oh my god, you got us in this pickle and now you're doing anything you can to save us. <sighs> but then you're such no. a prick. But eventually she because Skyler even is like. If we're still married, they can't. I can't. He tries to divorce her, and she's like down with it eventually. Right? Skyler is. Yeah. No, I thought that they didn't get divorced because she can't testify. Right. Him. She's like in on it though. She kind of gets in on it. Yeah, because she's, she's embezzling. Seedy. She's like it's running. Good to be, it's good to be him. bad. Yeah. I fucked Ted, etc. Uh-huh. I um, fucked Ted. Yeah, it's like she goes and fucks who's... Ted while he's like in bed with the cartel, making sure that their the crippled son is okay. <laughs> He mouth fucked Tortuga, his head on that turn. Don't work, Blue. Uh, <laughs> I'm I think, dying. I think Skyler. I don't, want, I don't want my last thing to hear is he mouth fucked Tortuga. Skyler was rightfully pissed yeah. with Walt, and then L- Wendy Bird uh, kind of gets into being a bad bitch, and it's annoying. So there. So it's the same show. No, same. There's some things in common, but you should be watching Treme instead of either of those, which I have not seen, but I've heard it's good. You heard it here first, folks. Treme. 09 to 2011. <laughs> Hot off the press. Oh, no. He Sam. passed. Sam. Oh, I just passed out from that boring thing you were saying. <laughs> oh, sorry. yeah. I should have let you talk about Skylar being a piece of shit more. Oh, she sucked. Um, she's one of the most unlikable people in all of television. But here's something. The reason you brought up Treme is because we're in Baltimore. Yes. And you've been doing your patent is that in the wire bit up top. And you were yeah, like, nothing's Pat like took, the wire. Until Pat took it from me. Oh, is Pat doing the bit too? She. He, now he already has that joke. He did it. And so I did not. Well, that do guy that. yelled out, Treme. You were like, nothing at all could ever be like the wire. That's you doing your stage voice. <laughs> nothing's like the wire. I sound wire. like Eugene Merman. <laughs> the Joker. Yeah, uh-huh. sucks. Yeah, Batman. then that guy was like, Treme, and you were like, what the, shut up, get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> get his fucking ass out of Treme, here. Yeah. yeah. And that said, you have a right, your right to an opinion, whether it's right or wrong, sir. Mm-hmm. He was wearing a uh, full carnival kind of onesie yeah. uh, bedazzled skirt with a feather boa. He was dressed like a trickster mage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he had a bunch of shrimp in his pockets. Yeah, and you were like, "That's my thing." Whoa, Treme! He's he's going as Treme for Halloween. Oh God! 
I see you spent all your talent points in Trickster. <laughs> I spent all my talent points in New York last week. I'm done. I'm done creating content for a while, guys. <laughs> for a while? Yeah. So you have plans mm-hmm. to come back from like, this. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, well, I'm, this is all... I'm just saying it by my mortal shell. But my energy will live on because I'm going to take over Pat's body. <laughs> Can, we're both going to be... You said we could both be in there, in here, right? Well, you're going to be renting from me. <laughs> I'll be the landlord. <laughs> You can have the butt. Body lord. You will live in the butt, Pat. And I'll live in the rest of the body. My consciousness will be in the butt? Your consciousness will be in the butt. <laughs> so but... I'll get a talk when you fart. You'll have yeah. two thoughts. I need to fart, and I farted. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to handle poop. And also, poop what's is that smell? intestines and colon. Right, yeah, I push through you. Mm. Our dung comes out of your, I guess, mouth in that situation. <laughs> Can we carry your penis around in like a petrified amber cane? Yeah, you're going to have a necklace like a like a boy in old Shreveport courting a gal. <laughs> you're going to have a raccoon dick necklace. <laughs> and when you go on Port dates screw. with your girlfriend who you just told us about, I'm the one doing the plowing. <laughs> Unless she eats your ass. That's her giving you a kiss. <laughs> That's the only time you'll smooch your girlfriend <laughs> is when she's performing analingus on what she thinks is you, but is actually me. She will eat my ass because she is 22 years old. I hope she has a long tongue. I hope she's like a fucking giraffe. <laughs> Otherwise, she she's not getting in there. She has a split tongue. You don't have a deep butt, though, so you're fine. I have so, a deep button. I know that you uh, are probably in a lot of pain. It's probably one of the worst feelings ever. But the worst actual feeling ever is sitting down after a long day and having to unstick your dick from your leg and untangle your balls from your boxers. Remember that? You'd probably pay good money to be able to go through that kind of worst feeling because you can't feel anything. My balls are all tangled up in my boxers right now, but I don't have hands to dig them out. They're just in there. They're just just in there forever. I could get them out, I guess, for a price. You could. How much do you want? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> for a night with uh, Dr. T. My balls but, are always... Stop asking for a night with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing that ever since I got sick, and I can't defend myself. <laughs> That's why, why I Why don't keep you come lay it. in this bed, well, and see, I'm going to go fucking full flip-flop body attack listen, on you. Yeah. The, yeah, you just bite the shit out of me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> He's you, everywhere. You go to hit me, and I'm like, not fair. Not <laughs> yeah, fair. I'm dying. Teeth or nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I uh, forgot guys, what I was going to say. My guys stay all tangled up in there. You're tangled. I'll, I'll get in there after I read this copy. It's like the Marx Brothers hiding behind a curtain. They're doing physical bits. Mm-hmm. And that's my balls in my undies. <laughs> Slipping on a banana peel. Mm-hmm. Pat, what's up with your balls and your undies? Uh, they're pretty good. Sometimes they get itchy, and I want to go full lund on them. Yeah. Dude, I am wrecking the shit out of my balls. The Dude, last we'll be over nights. there in bed, like... I, the lights are off, the TV's off, and I just hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's for, awful. And it's not for 30 seconds either. It's for a minute. Just it's for him several, digging around. Several minutes. Yeah. You were it's going at your nails in the green room pretty hard last night. Picking oh, my nails? Yeah. yeah. After I got stoned? Yeah. Yeah. So, thank habit. you. Uh, well, yeah, I used to bite my nails. And then when COVID hit, it was like, oh, I can't chew my nails or else I'll die. So I got that in my head, like, don't fucking chew your nails anymore. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at it, but the, the replacement fidgety thing is cleaning them, digging under them. I used to bite my nails, too, when I had arms. Yeah, so that's one good thing. Where, wherever your nails are, in some mm-hmm. medical trash bag. Okay, Emmy had to lop a foot off, and I was like, can we get that? Mm-hmm. Like, I know you take the trash out at the end of the day. <laughs> like, why don't you just fucking wrap that thing up and bring it home and yeah. yet again encase it in amber? Free foot. Petrify yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you this. Uh, with sheath, you'll never have that worst feeling ever again. Okay? Well, there's one pouch for your dick and one for your balls. Separate but equal. <laughs> That's cheap. <laughs> Things can't possibly that, that's, get that's tangled. That's the march I want to go on as the guy who wants to desegregate your undies. Your dick and balls. Yeah. <laughs> go get them together. They weren't supposed to touch. Yeah. That's why we have all the problems we do. <laughs> but yeah, that way things can't possibly get tangled when everything is in its own pocket. Uh, 
I enjoy sheath underwear. They feel good. I know you like them. Love them. I used to like them. Mm -hmm. I think the the nurse uh, that's been coming in, Rosemary, uh, she noticed that there's a big difference in her day (laughs) when you're wearing sheath versus when you're not. Well, when I first came in here, they had to cut mine off like a burn victim. Mm -hmm. They had to cut my undies off with the big scissors Mm -hmm. because they were so wet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rosemary's like, but, where's Rosemary's baby at? She's yeah. been calling you Rosemary's baby. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, I'm right here. I haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> I don't have any arms or legs, Rosemary. <laughs> oh, sugar. Don't worry. You know what I want to do is, when, can you guys take me out in my uh, wheelbarrow and so you can see the put sunset. me on the trampoline and just bounce me around? <laughs> 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 just put me in the middle. <laughs> Yeah. And just bounce Double me all jump over. the egg. Double jump me. Yeah. Crack we'll, the egg. We'll make sure that you don't go <laughs> flying off the side. Yeah. But yeah, sheath, man. Sheath is great. Hold on. We all love about... sheath. No, we're moving on. Bouncing a nugget around on a trip. <laughs> <laughs> Best day of the, their life. Oh, the human shit. nugget. That brings me joy. <laughs> the fabric even wicks sweat away, so you'll be feeling comfortable and dry. Once you give Sheath a try, you'll this, never want to wear anything else. This is that Hut Burners company, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. You're saluting Uncle Sam when you buy a pair of Sheath. Mm-hmm. Go to sheathunderwear.com and use code CHUBBY to get 20% off your first order. That's right. Listen to us because Plus, like him, you're just following orders. That's right. Plus <laughs> Sheath Underwear's 100% money back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code CHUBBY. Get sheath underwear. Support the show. Support your balls. Support us being global police. America. Someone's got to do it. Who would you rather have in control, though? I, I wish we were global firemen. I would like to travel the world putting out wildfires. Yeah, I'd like to work once a week, maybe, and eat chili all the time. <laughs> and have a little dog that we're all fucking. How about your friend That's why Alex's... that dog's in the Del... That's why they have the Dalmatian, because they all have sex with that. <laughs> your, your, friend's, your friend Alex's sister, yeah, Jojo. Jojo. Correctly uh, pointed out, like a little baby genius, that uh, Chili's... Was originally known for its chili. It was a chili its restaurant. Red bean chili. That's all like, that's the Mandela effect, man. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's not what that. happened, but oh. she was able to find it, and she now to, it's all rewritten, man. She went to liars.com. Yeah, she went to restaurantfactsyoujustmadeup.org. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. What? Dude, I can't defend myself. Quit drinking yeah, my no medicine. Shit. That's why I get to do what I want. Can I have some, please? No. Can I have some nice burger? Sir. Can you say, can I have cheeseburger? You say that, and then I'll give you a tip. Pat Richardson, Patrick answers the question, can I have cheeseburger? Very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> hey, the angle's wrong. Hold on. <laughs> Sam, oftentimes when people are dying, they kind of get like a burst of energy to get the things done, and they kind of have a glow about them yeah. right before they pass. Mm-hmm. Have you had that? No, I have the opposite. I'm ready to go. He has a glow because I've been microwaving stuff by his head. <laughs> well, hey, he almost fit me in there. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Yeah, <laughs> we got to get a big air fryer to yeah. finish the job on your ass. God damn. That'd be nice. That's like kind of like a sauna, but for chicken nuggets. <laughs> it's like a dry sauna, you know? And they just sit in there and they get crispy. You have to rake them out. Yeah, you do. <laughs> or they get stuck in there. You know what? I might get into that kind of shit. I might get into like rock garden, like raking a Zen garden every day. Mm-hmm. God, I didn't do enough with my life. I left so much on the table. I never made a sand mandala. <laughs> what? Yeah, I never saw a seether live. <laughs> seether. Yeah, dude. And the skin is getting thick. My arms and legs are gone. I'm just sucks. a head and you are the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Only, uh, was that season? Time is my enemy. Was he in the, the Spider-Man song with Chad Kroger? Was that no, the that was the dude from Saliva. Oh, Saliva. Someone told me love will save us. Yeah, I can't think of his name. Darby. I'm Yogil. sorry for the way I am. Never, Never meant, meant to be, be so cold. cold. Is that saliva? Who is that? No. That's, that's cold. No, that's... cold didn't do so cold. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it Shinedown? I think so. 
Shine yes. Down's my go-to make fun of them band. Make fun yeah, of me. Yeah, you band. mentioned them on stage. Did I tell you what Lund said after I told him I did the Adam Freeland show? What? Did you ask him about Chevelle? <laughs> that was so cold. So was bad. Breaking Benjamin? Oh yeah. To be Interesting. so cold. I saw Breaking Benjamin and Godsmack once at the Budweiser Event Center, and the Godsmack bass player stared at me the whole show. I had the same thing happen to me when I saw X and their guitarist Billy Zoom stared at me the whole show. And then after he came out with a Polaroid camera and took a bunch of pictures of me. <laughs> How old were you? I was like 22. Why did it he It was do Rollins that? Band, uh, the Jerry Only Misfits, and X. Why did he do that? I don't know, dude. Mm-hmm. But he was staring at me, and I kept nudging Bonzo and Clay and being like, this guy's fucking gunning me. He's... That's exactly what... He kept pointing at me, too. But he didn't <laughs> take pictures afterwards. Yeah, he came out with a Polaroid and took, like, four <laughs> photographs from four different angles of the <laughs> stage. He almost got traffic. I don't know what it was, dude. <laughs> it was very strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it about guys who look like us? <laughs> Are you in the front row? Yeah, it was right up front. Yeah. Man. Me and Clay <laughs> so loved good. X so much. Clay was like obsessed with X. Oh, wait, so Crossfade does the song that we were thinking of. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what I really meant to say is I'm sorry that I'm gay. I'm I Sam. Am. <laughs> That's right. I was singing uh, uh, Cigaro last night. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Well, you sang Cigaro while we were peeing. My cock is much bigger than yours. That's right. And your cock went right down through the floor. <laughs> and kissed <laughs> and your ankle. You're going to have to pay for the new tile work. Yep. So that's on you, brother. Sorry, Magooby's joke house. Uh, you scared a pug with your camera? It, was like, face. it made me think of a uh, an indigenous person who doesn't want their picture taken because it steals their soul. Are the you dog, saying that the dog. indigenous are as smart as dogs? I'm saying dogs know wow. something we don't. Is that what you're saying? No. Oh. It's not what I said at all. So... Suck it. I'm going to have some more coffee. Don't. That's literally my last drop. Then I'm going to snap my fingers and tap my feet. Oh, shit. Jealous. (laughs) Oh, yeah. When we got back last night, where's the closest place to get coffee? And she was like, we have coffee in the lobby. And you're like, and I love it. And I love it. That was so perfect. You do, and I love it. (laughs) But. But I'm wondering about just like some other options for our second coffee of the day yeah i talk like a homosexual between the hours of 1 and 2 (laughs) a.m yes and i love that for you adore it i love that you can have that coffee but i need something a little more yes a little bigger and a little blacker if you know what i mean and i sweat so she didn't know what he meant (laughs) she didn't get the joke i'm spinning and i love it Hopefully you guys are all watching Wide World on hey, yeah. the YouTube page. Great That's a feedback. Fucking unheralded success. Great That's feedback a- so far. People love it. people shouting out the editing work. Yeah. In particular, That's which- our little secret weapon. <laughs> yes, I Man, I'm sick of that video. We were sitting on it for a while. Yep. I should have said this on the commentary. It would have been out earlier, but Pat crushed the, the video because he was sitting on it. Yeah. <laughs> You're sitting on your It was ass. one of those like orange, like robust, like hefty duty ones too. It was the I ones still... that are supposed to go four thousand feet underwater. Yeah. <laughs> they recovered some from the submarine that exploded and they still have. Hey, wake me up when they recover a submarine sandwich. <laughs> you just that had you a can giant feed me. one. <laughs> I did. It's my last meal. <laughs> Wegmans. Hey, do me a favor, everyone. Go subscribe to my YouTube, because there's more listeners of this podcast than there are. P- People subscribe to my YouTube. <gasps> oh no, nurse! <laughs> Rosemary! Please, doctor! Doctor! I can't sit up, but I have a bubble right in the middle. He's choking. You need to He's burp. choking on a bubble. He's like a little baby. Come burp Rosemary's baby. <laughs> Put me over your knee, Rosemary. <laughs> yeah, go subscribe to the YouTube. And also, why don't you come and see me in Phoenix and Long Island and Traverse City? And uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Jesus. and Vancouver, Guess and what? Providence, Rhode Island. 
We have a lot more time left. <laughs> I'm just saying, why don't we do plugs now? <laughs> I guess. I don't have much more time left. I, I know. This, <laughs> this one is has how to committed be... I am to these fucking people this... that on my deathbed, I'm still blasting them with a hot one. We're going to have to bring your rotting corpse uh-huh. to the next few dates yeah. so that you can honor them. Look, he's here. Yeah, he's dead. He's here. He'll be on stage. I'll be in the sound booth working, you know, working the room. Yeah. I know his jokes. I'm not doing some of them. <laughs> They're a little risky. Not the closer? Not the closer. What, because I say a fun word? Yeah, it's fun. Are you going to do Andrew Dice They? I will do your Andrew Dice They joke because I came up with the funny part. No. No, I came up with the best part. You had the, the laugh. But Andrew Dice, you had the tag. Dice this pussy ain't gonna funny. suck itself. Oh, oh! Burning his closer on the pod. <laughs> My closer. Mm-hmm. Burning it. You can't say it. <laughs> we heard it on episode six thirteen. Chubby B. We want boys. Boys. More boys. Shout out to uh, sound guy Julian. Yeah. But- M- maybe he'll figure out how to say behemoth. By well, the late show tonight. I was, and also not to play the intro music at a hundred thousand decibels. <laughs> yeah, Fully they're gonna cranked. have to buy new speakers. It's ear shattering. <laughs> he's blowing out the speakers. Yeah, he was doing the announcements at the beginning and he's like Nathan Lund from Chubby Behemoth Behemoth. Behem- and the multiple people in the crowd like laughed really <laughs> loud. <laughs> behemoth. Chubby Behemoth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he had to say it again. Chubby boho ho, <laughs> bohomo. Yeah, Julian's uh, chubby beautiful. Kokomo. He's beautiful. Not many wrinkles on that brain. He's a little yeah. star child. They're beautiful. The beautiful. The beautiful I brought one. one pair of pants, and it's the plastic denim. Look at those. They made out of old trash bags. <laughs> ding ding ding. <laughs> They're hard. Ding ding. You know what's funny? This weekend is me realizing what a uh, how difficult it must be to be Patrick as an employee of mine. Because I have no empathy for his travel plight or any of the hardships mm. he thinks he's he's perceived that he's suffering out there. Yeah, I used to hop on the back of a train that yeah. was going 80 miles an hour. Yeah, I How would old just were take, you, jump into a freighter. Take rocks to the face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no longer a spry young man. Yeah, I would, uh, I would, they would round up stray dogs when I'd come to town, and then they would stake them, and then I would fight them in the winter. <laughs> got a headline <laughs> you were like grizzly smith you'd stand outside it wasn't exactly of a factory like him, no you have a lot in common with grizzly no. smith uh you liked him a little younger than him but <laughs> god damn but you would you like to hang out you used to hang out outside of factories and when the guys would get off of work you would uh say for a nickel they could punch you in the stomach yeah and if you reacted at all or doubled over then they won their their money back yeah I lost a lot of money on that one. Yeah, you were always <laughs> fucking going to your knees and crying about yeah, it. Yeah, I would just be weeping and throwing up bile. <laughs> just take it. it. Just take all of it. <laughs> just don't punch me. Just don't hit me anymore. You won't be hurting us anymore. <laughs> helium. Corey Helium. That's yeah. what that sounded like. <laughs> Did you know that story, Pat? No. Oh, my God. Uh, Kevin O'Brien was doing his act at uh his open mic at what's the name of that place Lund? matchbox matchbox there on denver street larimer in colorado (laughs) ave and uh i'm dying (laughs) close enough yeah take take me to a different hospital denver street this one stinks take me to church but yeah this is a black hospital you don't like the black hospital what it's a black hospital save it for your podcast (laughs) Unlistenable with Kobos. <laughs> people love us. Giggles in the chode. Yeah, Earthworm Jim. I've been calling people in the crowd Earthworm Jim this weekend. <laughs> That's been fun. Oh, yeah, a guy came up to me after the show last night. Yeah. He's like, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, that was great. I love the pod. I love you guys. I was the one he was calling Earthworm Jim. And I was like, very good. <laughs> I was not listening, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that, that goes in his bio on his LinkedIn. <laughs> Sam <laughs> called me. Oh, yeah, I'm the one known Data as Data analysis, gym. website building. <laughs> There's Earth two guys gym. that look like Banjo-Kazooie behind him, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Sitting like, on his shoulders. Kevin, like, did crowd work with Reed Wolf's from Speed Wolf, the thrash band. And Reed Wolf from Speed Wolf. 
Where, yeah, what? Denver band. You're dying, so you're kind of Reed Wolf from it. Speed Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I say it. You always say wolf as wolf. Yeah, wolf. like a doggy. They're gonna the they're gonna they jump make. down your throat. Hey, there's plenty of room. No, you're intubated. There's What's the on tube. the roar sack? <laughs> What's on the roar sack? It's a wolf. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're. We should have known earlier. We could have gotten you some help before they had to amputate everything. Yeah. Including your little Grundus. Because I didn't say a word right. Well, as, <laughs> no, a, there as, were a, as a benzodiazepine addict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say benzodiazepine right every time. Oh, yeah, because I got to call in the refill every two weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they keep giving me 90. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone, it's me, benzo addict Sam Talon, everybody. I'm in my deathbed. No, but Speed Wolf. Speed Wolf. At Matchbox. Cool band. Kevin was like, and what's your deal? And they, what are you, you suck or something? You know, it's Kevin, you know? Yeah. What's your deal, stupid? He's wearing a dashiki. Yeah, but Reed, <laughs> no, Wolf, was, Reed Wolf was going to jail the next day for like three weeks. So, so he, he like, was, he had nothing to lose. He had nothing to lose. He was just tying it on tight before he went away to the big house. So Reed like got up and like hit Kevin in the head. <laughs> I think he took a big swing. Right, but Kevin and used Kevin was uh, able to duck. Yeah. Kevin did that thing. I wish I could show you. Do you guys remember that device that you would compress the base of it and the doll would collapse? Yeah, yeah it's like a horse. Yeah, that was like Kevin's superpower. Or a giraffe. I'm so I'm so spineless I can't get punched. <laughs> so Kevin ducks and jives and shucks and thrives. Reed hit the ground and like four comics jumped on. I think him. John Papanoyu. Vanderplug was there. Vanderplug. Oh, it, Hiker. Hiker took his belt off. <laughs> the guy's belt. Hiker, no, Hiker took his Hiker own, took belt, his own off belt off and like made a lasso and handcuffed Reed Wolf. Hiker tied himself off. Yeah. And, <laughs> and did a little horse. Yeah. He felt like the horse falls. <laughs> it, it's a giraffe. But, uh. Oh, yeah. So then as yeah, they're, as, as three men are dragging Reed out the door and he's like, you know, foaming at the mouth. How, how. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's why he couldn't be outside because the moon was full. Uh, Corey Healy, who I don't think was actively engaged in the violence, said, "You won't be hurting us anymore." <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that too. <laughs> he was all fired up. Yeah, but I mean, dude, what? He went just full. It's not Ralph Wiggum. Who's the little smart uh, kid in Martin the Simpsons? Martin Prince. He went Martin Prince on him. <laughs> <laughs> that is like a Martin you Prince. You won't book. be hurting us anymore. <laughs> it's like he wasn't hurting us. <laughs> he kind of hit Kevin. That makes it sound like you had, you had a history with him. Like yeah. He'd been bullying you right. guys at the mic every week. Uh-huh. He just showed up and made everyone flinch for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was... Uh, well, it's funny if that was in response to Reed, like... Kind of heckling a couple people. No, he was stop just, hurting us. He, he just wasn't, wasn't laughing. Heckling. He and wasn't a laughing because he was thinking about being incarcerated and getting tanked. I think it was more than three weeks. I don't know. I think but, he had to do a stretch. I don't know, but Kevin was like, "Whoa, how are you not moved by my jokes about school bus drivers?" <laughs> and Reed was like, "Hey, man, I, I love art, and I, I think you guys are great. I'm just not in the mood to laugh." <laughs> sure, he wasn't. And Kevin that was like, "How about you suck my kiss?" <laughs> You won't be hurting us anymore. <laughs> Shout out to Corey Healy. Come to Ratio Comedy every Wednesday at yeah. 8 p.m. Free show. You get what you pay for. Their show gets ratioed. <laughs> In the comments. Yeah. The comment that says, y'all suck. No, it's a good show. Sincerely. It is. It, I have said it mockingly. But I mean it sincerely that it's uh, in the in the same vein as uh, too much fun weekly free mm-hmm. show punk rock comedy. Most of the guys are funny. Two of the three guys, <laughs> yeah, sixty six percent are funny. No, the four of us were the best. You guys are like a wish.com version of the. You guys are gents. Timu. <laughs> yeah. I you guys prefer are Timu, Timu Solani. Chinese psyop. <laughs> and I was fucking forced by Saki. I'm logged into Sam's uh, YouTube. Netflix. It's our YouTube now. Free YouTube. Or no ads. Premium, yeah. Yeah. And this video, it's all like wrestling shit in the algorithm. And it was like, I bought $500 worth of Wish.com wrestling toys. (laughs) (laughs) Let's see what I got. And I watched like all 30 minutes. Dude, me and Lund watched so much Deathmatch Wrestling and West Nyack that, yeah, my YouTube has been nuked. It's wrecked. This Cactus Cactus Jack was wearing this shirt, 95, Japan IWA Deathmatch Tour. And then I was wearing it watching him, 
Grosser than he ever was. Yeah. <laughs> and then you watched you wearing that while wearing it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Did the commentary for Wide World. Yeah, join the night. Wide World Patreon, damn it. Wearing Sam this. Talent Wide World on Patreon. Go over there. All that money goes to Pat and Bonzo. I still don't see a dollar from any of my successful endeavors, but as long as I can keep the lights on for the boys, that's what it's all about. You get the sheath I'm dying. Money. I'm dying. A lot of times the money is uh, Vietnamese currency, so that's not super ideal but <laughs> hey that's what happens when you're over there for several years after the war was over yeah he actually Just tried laying to, low he tried to pay me in ears he's trying to finish the job <laughs> yeah. he's like i'm not done over here the join the over. patreon so i can get chick-fil-a in the miami airport during my nine hour layover there now let's oh, hear about this complaint the, you have the flight from hell i saw some of the options hmm. for coming back <laughs> You got one of the, the one where there's a kick in the nuts and each it's time not even, you get off the plane. And, and it's not even that much cheaper now because it's Frontier and I had to bring a carry on. Mm -hmm. So I still had to pay like $200. And more. what did I tell you? First of all, what's worse? A layover in Miami on an airplane and then straight to Denver or taking a Greyhound from Baltimore all the way to Denver? That's no fun. Okay, just I answer the question. Which one's worse? The the Greyhound by far. I took a Greyhound from New York City to Baltimore <laughs> to Denver. How, how old were you? I was 22 years young. I'm 10 years older than that. Well, you should have Who been cares? more successful more you, early. You've had a sheltered <laughs> life, so it's yeah. like you're 22. Yeah. yeah, your life is soft. You've never tied your own shoes. Mm -hmm. I did all that stuff. You you're like Velcro one of those crabs, only. Patrick, that doesn't have a shell, so it has to crawl inside of a rusty tin can. <laughs> I'm your rusty tin can. Can it be spotted dick? Yeah, for sure. What's your? That's what actually what got me. What's your? <laughs> what's your itinerary? Your flight leaves Baltimore at nine p.m. I'd have to look it up, but my phone. Okay. And but Pat, what are you doing awful. until you go to the airport? Uh, I'm staying in the hotel room that you extended. In right. So you're not hanging out at the White Castle across the street from the Indianapolis <laughs> Greyhound station for 22 hours. <laughs> everybody that's not that, what you're doing. Everybody that walks by you made you flinch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they punked you out. Yeah, no one just showed that they had a pistol in their belt a couple times <laughs> for one of your sliders. So yeah. you didn't have to do that. Do well, that sounds coffee? tough. Yeah, please. I took many a mega bus around the Midwest when I lived in Chicago. Right, so you took a mega bus from Chicago to Schaumburg once to get some head. <laughs> and, now you were, and now you want to be in this wish. conversation. I oh, wish. it's pill time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take one of my Wellbutrin. Is this Please. fun or no? <laughs> no, it's Wellbutrin. And also, Pat, I told you this whole carry-on thing that you're bitching about. Uh, you know what you do when you're on Spirit or Frontier and you don't want to pay for the carry-on? You, you put said, on all of your clothes. Yeah, but I had to bring a laptop and headphones. So that's your free carry-on. And then you have all your clothes on. You just have three t-shirts on. You have two sweatshirts on. You have two pairs of pants, a couple pairs of underwear, various That's shoes. It's insane. It's insane, but I, I did that multiple times. <laughs> when you were 22. No, and this is when I was like 26, dude. When I was flying Spirit from like... I used to fly from like Oakland to Denver all the time. And I would wear all my clothes. I was so. sweaty it must have been, shorts. It must have been awful, right? Yeah. You couldn't move. It's, it's called earning it. <laughs> So I don't, that's the thing about me is like all these stories, you're like, oh my God, I only got a $10 voucher and they didn't <laughs> take it at McDonald's. So I had to get Wendy's. And I'm like, I ate a rock. <laughs> I ate a rock because I thought it was a turtle. You had Pika. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ate a lot of weird stuff. I had, I had Raichu. <laughs> What's that? It's a Pokemon. <laughs> Pika. It's Pika's ultimate evolution. <laughs> She's a fat. I wish I had Pika. Pikachu. Pika's cute. Oh. Yeah, you can. It's good. It's easy to monetize. I had Raichu. No one ever evolved their no Pokemon one ever into evolved Raichu. Pikachu. Raichu was so much better. He was ugly though, compared to Pikachu. No, I want <laughs> more time. <laughs> he was supposed to Venmo me. <laughs> the last thing he said was Raichu was underrated. <laughs> And he listed all the moves that he can learn, but Pikachu can't learn. <laughs> yeah, he had Thunder Punch. Yeah, it's uh, it's funny. I die, and then you guys are just trying to face unlock, even though I'm in like rigor mortis. Yeah, we have to hold to your, Venmo hold your, your eyes my open. Accounts. Yeah. <laughs> we finish the pod, of course. Then too. you call Emily. <laughs> he passed something, away. Something happened. We don't know what. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> I think he's still in there hanging on. But he's not responsive. Yeah. He Venmoed a bunch of people right before he. Oh, so what, what's his Robin Hood login? <laughs> did he have any money in his FanDuel? Yeah. <laughs> he did like a big bet right before he passed. Oh yeah. Speaking of big bets, we haven't talked about it, but we biffed it on the Super Bowl. Oh, we were two for two. Last year's bet was Travis Kelsey touchdown scorer. It hit. This year, I say, hey, let's go Christian McCaffrey and Kelsey anytime touchdown mm-hmm. scorer. Of course, Christian found the end zone. Right He's away. a hound dog. And then Kelsey just dicked around, caught a few passes for a few yards, did not get into the end zone. Because he had that sweet, sweet Taylor Swift punani on his mind. Yeah, he was busy like, screaming at Andy Reid, Give me the fucking ball! Yeah, I want to have sex with that light pole. <laughs> she's asexual. Yeah, she's a lesbian, dog. Probably. You know, follow the money, dog. Uh, you don't know that. Also, who cares? What I care about is Kelsey fucking me. In the ass. <laughs> we took it. We should have took Juice Check over 0.5 reception yards. God. So should have stupid. taken Usher would have gotten on roller skates. <laughs> that was minus 8,000. <laughs> the payout wasn't <laughs> worth it. <laughs> These odds seem fucked. Yeah, so we lost. We lost our fucking Super Bowl bet. Becker couldn't get his operation. <laughs> so uh, I tell oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be seeing him it. soon. Yeah, it's going to be you, you're gone, Becker's gone. Let's do this me thing, Lund. Yeah, me, Pat, and Kobos. <laughs> <laughs> Kobos Patrick Lund podcast. <laughs> Let's go. Like and subscribe. We're young. We're going to talk about how young we are. <laughs> you and Kobos are like the same age. Kobos wishes. No. Kobos, Kobos is, is almost 40. Kobos is fucking no, old not. and gross. He's 39. Yeah. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. He's 39. Yes, he is. Whoa. What the fuck? He's older than Sam. Mm-hmm. Huh. Kobos, huh? He's been on the road with Frankie Keel in this. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, That's hilarious. everyone hashtag bring back this fool. Save this fool. Save this fool. Is the hashtag, I believe. But also, who cares? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to save it. Exactly. People are... People are tweeting that instead of hashtag ceasefire now, so that's not great. <laughs> Maybe go with that one. Neither one is going to do anything, though. No, so. Israel owns FX, so both <laughs> both shows aren't going to be around much longer. But uh, I know what that's like. <laughs> oh, Sam. I mailed some Palestinians. Save this fool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, hell yeah. I, God, I nailed some Palestinian hour. kids. Well, not, <laughs> dude, we'll, we'll I have not to do come. two hours tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do we got? We got a few more minutes. How uh, much longer? Five more minutes. Oh, would be sick! Great. Okay. It's just. Uh, well, we should do plugs again. <laughs> Sing another country song, Lund. Oh, Palermo, Sicily. How about that, lady? God, you guys laugh so fucking hard when I'm trying to get off stage. Mm-hmm. It was so distracting. Yeah, you didn't get off off on a very good laugh. Was that because of their big laugh? Did it? Uh, well, I mean, it was just like a huge fucking goddamn. What the hell was that? This lady came everybody. up to me in and then the I ended okay, right? in the merch. You had area. a good set. I just felt like you ended awkwardly. End, she had the, a good set. The dying thing. Oh, Grandpa Bob. People it didn't, didn't get laugh. a good laugh. I think there were a lot of the... older people in the late show, <laughs> it which is them. weird. And they were like, "Oh God, that's, <laughs> that's what's around the corner for me." What? Yeah. What were you laughing at? Oh, this woman came up. This like older Guido. Esque woman. Guida. Guideta. Guida. And she said, uh, hey, tell your buddy, Palermo's in Sicily. <laughs> and, and me and Umar were stopped. like, what? <laughs> All right. God, it was such a huge reaction. Yeah. Everybody was like, what the fuck? Hey, what show are they at? Tell yeah. your buddy. They must, be watching ev- <laughs> they must be watching Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she really got her ass. God damn. Shout out Umar Khan. He's been hosting, doing a good job. Umar? Everyone told me these guys were going to be fucking weird. The, this Andrew guy who runs Magoobies is weird, but he's been fucking great to us. Yeah, I like him a lot. He sounds and kind of looks like Phil Palisol, mm-hmm. Denver his, uh, comedy godfather. His dog looks like Nora Lynch. Phil P. <laughs> I wish. He's Remember into Nora... dog racism. You like nothing. 
Um, yeah, good call. But shut up. <laughs> yeah, can do. Uh, yeah, no, I've enjoyed my time. Great staff. Julian's killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, simple Julian. He came up to me and was like, you said you wanted Ben Richter as your opening music. Is that right? <laughs> I was like, I didn't say that. You said Range Rover by... Porches. Porches. Which is like the gayest song of all time, which I like coming out to. I think it was just... funny that you came out to it. It was interesting. It was the only I... song that didn't clip on the speakers. <laughs> oh, you know why I might feel like shit? Besides that mm. I'm dying and my arms and legs have been cut off? Yeah. I've been drinking like two PD lights a day. That's like 220% of the sodium you need. Oh, no. You're <laughs> yeah, clogged. dude. I think I'm sodium poisoned. They put sugar. <laughs> they add sugar to that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you need uh, one of Pat's hydration pouches. That has more salt in it. Oh, I, no. I need my salt pellet. Yeah, I'm like out of it today. I feel terrible. I'm not even high. Maybe I should get high. Okay. We're not allowed to get high until after the second am... show. Really? No, we can do whatever we want. We're the kings of hell. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get drunk tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, because he gets to sleep in all day tomorrow on his awful travel day. I'm gonna be editing his nice hotel episode bed. two. Yeah, you better, soldier boy. My cock is much bigger than yours. <laughs> My cock can walk right through the door. Well, then let's do our secret handshake. So pure. Right in the door. <laughs> I know. Let's do it. Uh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Earlobe whisper. Thank you so much for listening. Check out the Watch Patreon. Watch Wide World. Watch Wide World on YouTube. There's a Patreon. Subs- Patreon.com slash Sam Talent Wide World. Yeah, but also, I mean, subscribe to our Patreon, too. It's really good. Patreon.com slash Chubby Behemoth. Chubby Behemoth. Chubby Behemoth. SamTalent.com for upcoming road dates. Yeah, we're really stoked on Wide World. We're filming a whole new episode, March 10th through the 14th. I'm not going to tell you where, but if you're going... Palermo. Sicily. No, but we are going over there in August. Doing a week in Rome, baby. Jim Rome's burning. All right, guys. Like and subscribe. Five star rating. That'd be cool. Cobos yeah. Patrick podcast. No, hey. edit it out. <laughs> hey, Lund, can you grab this pillow real quick? This one next to me. Are you done? No, just grab the pillow real quick. Where do you want it? I'll just grab it. Just do me one. Okay, can you put it right on my face, please. Goodbye. <laughs> With a feeling so pure, coming back for more. Cool.